welcome welcome back darlings welcome back family and thank you to those who have subscribed oh my OGs thank you thank you so much and those who always comment I truly appreciate because a YouTube channel is a channel by having people interacting and commenting so that others can end up finding the channel and we can grow as one big family you know and those who are new please do subscribe please do hit the notification button please do share please do like please do comment the so much you can do here to contribute you know uh, i always say contribution is not always financially when you show love it's more contribution than you, you can even think so i am tisha oliphant i am born and raised yes and i'm uh, i'm a matured lady now in in South Africa. I don't know why I brought that up, but yeah, just to say born and bred in SA, in South Africa, Johannesburg to be exact. And I am currently traveling the world and it is so awesome. It is so amazing. It is so refreshing. There's lots to learn about myself, about the, the other environment, about the people. There's just so much, there is so much, so much that I'm going through, that I'm learning, and I am so grateful for this opportunity. So I'm using my channel to share experiences during my travels. I share costs, I share uh, the shocks that I come across as I'm traveling. I share things that warms my heart, uh, what I've tried out in that place, I just share and share and share so that I can inspire and motivate those who enjoy traveling. And those who've been with me for a while, they know that this channel is my corporate journey, which I started by sharing my corporate journey uh, since I've been in corporate for almost three decades. And yeah, I have learned a lot. I've had celebrations have fallen bruises so yes but for now because i'm currently traveling i am sharing the traveling side of things and uh, the channel also has an aspect that speaks about uh, my wealth journey and i do share the tips and how i created my wealth what i involved what i did what i didn't do what i avoided and i haven't done that in a while because i don't want to find myself confusing uh, my people so let's stick to travel for now because that's what i'm currently doing and then when that chapter is a uh, post because i can never close it it didn't start today or oh, with this particular journey i've always been a traveler so once we pause that we can pick up the other topics so just to clarify to avoid a confusion because uh, you can easily get confused with the names and the content so it's important as a content creator a youtuber to clarify that but this video is not about this whole uh, rundown that i've already given it's about uh when i traveled to the philippines so i went to philippines and guys i'm still gonna share more info about the costs and, and, and the food and everything else. But this video, I thought I'll just sit and tell you about my personal experience in Philippines. So when I went to Philippines, um, as I say, the Philippines, I, guys, I struggled. I struggled and I want to be vulnerable about that. When I left the airport. I took Grab. I always do. I think uh, for me it's cost effective and safe. Uh, safe. You never know. Someone who uses Uber back home in South Africa, Grab makes so much sense for me when I'm traveling abroad and they, they have other uh, 
transportation services but since i've downloaded grab i use grab so from the airport to my hotel uh first hotel because the aim for me to go to the philippines was to go island hopping you know and i always try and have a theme for for each country as to what exactly i'll be focusing on and the philippines for me was island hopping since they've got over seven thousand islands beautiful islands you know and i thought it would be a perfect country for me to showcase their islands their water activities i'm laughing because i'm thinking even though i wasn't going to be part of the diving and all that but i was going to do some of that and then come and share here to say if you are a lover of water, you're an Aquarius, you're a fish, uh, Philippines would be a country that you might just add on your list. But guys, the drive from the airport to my accommodation, you can just picture this. I just landed all excited that, oh, I'm finally in the Philippines. And now I'm whisked from airport to my uh, accommodation. Guys, I am an African, proudly South African, born and raised in South Africa. I was never born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I've worked hard for what I have, but I was never born poor. But I've been exposed to poverty and extreme poverty as well because it comes in different levels and form. But what I saw in Philippines in that just short period, it just left me destroyed, guys. The amount of poverty in that country were I couldn't contain, I couldn't digest, I couldn't look at it, I was stunned, you know? And I had to paint this picture, I would say, I'm not talking from a point of privilege, I would say, I've never seen poverty in my life, this was the first time, hence I felt that, guys, that was the worst of the worst for me. Remember, this is my travel journey. I'm talking personal experience. The Philippines or the Filipinos are having it hard, guys, so hard. I know shacks, I know people who struggle, but what I saw, I filmed some of it briefly and I couldn't continue filming it. I just couldn't continue. And I just can't even share or paint a picture of what I saw in that 20 minutes or so driving to my hotel. It destroyed me. It killed me. Uh, yeah, it, it sent me to a dark hole. And I was not able to separate that situation from, from me. You know, I think I personalized it. And I guess that's where my immune system just went through and I got really, really ill. I was okay for the first two days and I guess because I was walking around and, and guys, when I travel, I try and live like locals amongst them, spend time with them. So I think just being exposed to that level of a uh, shortage or nothingness made it worse so i got very ill you know and the aim was to go to the doctor but looking at the surroundings i'm like will it even work and i must say the hotel the first hotel i booked into was fairly decent you know uh, amazing stunning with all the right stuff that you can expect and more maybe uh, but as you step out, the reality kicks in, and the sad reality. And the worst of the worst for me is to, was to see women sleeping on the cardboards on the streets and the kids, you know? I often say, we're not blessed the same. Some people have it 
harder than others. But when you see kids, the amount of kids that are begging, oh, guys, the amount of kids that have uh, put themselves out there to be used and abused just to, to, to get a plate of food, that killed me. I, 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 I'm not even 100% ready to talk about the Philippines. When I think about the Philippines, I, I get nauseous. And guys, I'm not exaggerating. That's how bad it was for me to handle. I, I get nauseous. I'm much better now because I'm able to sit here. I can't even look straight in the camera because I'm still torn. Yeah, and it will take me years. And I recall thinking to myself, even if someone pays me to go back, I will not go back to, to, to the Philippines. Such a beautiful country. And I had a long list of amazing things that I would have loved to do, you know? And the funny part is I'm recording this video today is the 14th of June, 2023. And uh, two days ago, they had the lava and the volcano spill out and whatever, and I would have still been there, you know. So sometimes you look at things and you think God just moves you away from it. I'm not saying I would have been in that area, but going to see the volcanoes was on the list of some of the things that I went to, to the Philippines or to Philippines for. But guys, it is heavy in that country. It is heavy. I have no words to describe the hardship. You know, everyone faces hardship. Every country has its problems. What I saw was just, just something else. And I pray to God no one gets exposed to, to, to what I saw. And I got very ill and I self-medicated. Uh, also, I'm t approaching my the useless insurance that I'm still going to talk about to to go to the doctor. First of all, how do you even get authority to go to the doctor because or approval? You must just go and come back and submit and it's clay, you know? That's how it's supposed to work with these travel insurances. But I guess I took the words and I paid a fortune for it. I'm still going to do a video about that to say never ever use them. So I self-medicated, not to say I didn't have money to go to the doctor, I just, I was too weak and I looked at the environment and I said, will I not cause more damage to myself? I was just analyzing, I was overthinking a lot at that time, but I must say, uh, I respect uh, the fact that they gave me medication that could help me and I felt much better. And during that time, I decided to cut my stay short which means and guys talking about that i bought a flexible ticket for the first time since i've been traveling i don't buy flexible tickets and flexible tickets are the worst because you don't know what tomorrow holds in store for you life happens you don't want to buy a ticket that restricts you to travel on that particular day at the time if you don't make it, that's it, your money down the drain. I will not, I will not recommend the type of tickets that I normally buy, but I buy them for my own financial reasons. But somehow when I booked this one, I bought a flexible ticket. I have no idea why, only God knows. And when I got, fell ill, I, just thought to myself, gosh, it's amazing how things just happen in life, you know? And I had to reach out to the uh, the flights or the, what do they call it, travel agent, and change and move my trip, the exit forward. So I decided that I'm flying out sooner than I had uh, planned because I think I flew out over a week earlier. So I spent 
can't even remember we need to think like a week or less than a week in the philippines and it's or, or a week maybe because my plan was to stay for close to three weeks you know because their islands are worlds apart unless you try and group but guys the traveling time from one place to the next in in philippines is a nightmare so i had given myself enough time and i had uh filtered in the travel time as well would see if i move from this island to the next let me just clear a day or a night because i was going to use ferries in between to do that so i had told myself that three weeks will be the perfect time and now it won't be rushed because i want to take it all in and my travel journey is about taking it all in yeah then i reached out and i changed uh, the date moved it so forward changed the time but obviously guys you can't change the destination which i wish i could have put and but the saddest part is even if you pay that extra amount for the flexible tickets you still have to pay when you move the date forward oh guys that's my gripe i've already paid extra why am i now paying and sometimes you pay far much more than what you paid for the initial tickets so i paid a couple of thousands more just to move this trip forward but i couldn't put a price on, on my life and my mental state you know because emotionally and and psychologically i wasn't okay at all so it was okay which i had to cough out extra couple of thousands just to get out of the philippines and while i was busy changing my ticket which was successfully changed and then i was leaving in three days or so and i decided to leave uh, manila because i landed in manila which is their capital city and spend some time there like three nights i think and move to metro manila which is a contrast from this heavy poverty to these high-rise skyscraper buildings and well-developed and touristy area with experts in there uh, i was already ill there but it felt much better because I was no longer exposed to, to, to the, the reality. So I moved away from the reality. And I think I spent three nights there. Then I went to Cebu. Cebu is where the islands are. And I had uh, planned or booked my exit from Cebu because I was going to go to the island, spend like over a week and then fly out from Cebu. So the plan was not go to go back to, to Manila, even though I didn't know what Manila had in store for me, you know, uh, that horrible picture that I had to face. So I then had to book an accommodation in Cebu for like three nights. Well, I, I was there for three nights, I think just to wait for, for my flight to just leave the country. And it got in so bad, which I ended up not doing any activities. I just cared for myself because I was still recovering and I was still not well. And uh, I remember guys, I booked this hotel, Golden Berry. And apparently there's two or three, you know? And I got, to Cebu, so flew from Manila to Cebu, which is a domestic flight. And oh, there was drama as well, I forgot. The flight was delayed with over three hours. Imagine, already I went out, I'm not feeling well, guys, I was really, really ill, I'm weak. I get to the airport and it's an hour flight. You know, I just want to move from this Manila side to Cebu. I get there, my flight is delayed for three hours. And I remember telling my loved one, Uguti, eh, I almost died because I sat at the airport for over three hours. And 
because the flight was delayed and I just couldn't. I wanted to pull my hair out. And uh, <laughs> my loved one was say, asking me, but is it the first time you came across a delayed flight or you experienced a flight which is delayed? I'm like, no, this was not the first time and it won't be the last time. I can't even say touch wood in reality. If you fly, those are things you need to expect. I said, but the, the reason why I am so dramatic about it, it's because I'm not feeling well. You know, I wasn't feeling well. Imagine you are ill, you are weak, you're just trying to move from point A to B, and then you get to the airport and you have to sit for like three hours. What I liked or appreciated, there was nothing to like, I was numb, I was weak, was the fact that they provided vouchers food vouchers while waiting to sort out the next plane to take us to to say i don't know if other flights do it i don't know if in south africa if your flight is delayed they give you vouchers for food so we got a voucher and yeah we went but no one was excited about it because over a voucher we just wanted to get to our destination and we went and got something, but I thought that was uh, such a nice, it was thoughtful of them, you know, as an airline to, to give that. And it was probably something, what's wrong, guys? And I'm, I'm not deleting this. It's something, why do we always find ourselves with funny things when we're doing videos? Oh, should I speak for myself? It's like the devil is at work and you are a liar. Get behind me, Satan. So I, uh, going back to where we were at, because now I'm digressing. I was just clear, Djibouti. Yeah, they did that. But I'll talk about the food in a different video. <laughs> yeah. Or else we'll go on and on. So then I... Finally, I think it was me uh, around 11 or after 11 when we landed or I landed, can I speak for myself, not the home crew because it's my travel journey, when I landed in Cebu, yeah, and the usual, now I need to be on Wi-Fi, try and get a grab because I don't have a SIM card, guys, you know how I'm traveling, like, yeah, Pantula. So, got a grab to my hotel. Guys, I'm sick. When I booked this place, I said to myself, I want comfort, I want peace, I want, I always want cleanliness. But this time, I wanted the ones which are amongst the best, the hotel that is amongst the best, because I'm just not feeling well. So. I can't be dealing with, oh, they didn't replace the toilet paper, or oh, they don't have this, oh, someone is screaming, I just needed peace. So this grab driver takes me to this hotel. I'm like, gosh, not this situation again. Guys, it's in the midst of the first situation I was in. Remember, I was exposed to the severe and when I say severe, guys, there's no way to describe poverty. And then I moved to a, a much better area. Now I'm going back and I'm sick because of what I was, I was exposed to, what I saw. I'm like, will I come out of this country alive? So I pay him, I get off, I go inside. Guys, the lobby is peach black. The lights are on, but you know what I'm talking about. The dark, dark space. Guys, I can't deal with darkness. Nina, those who know me, I don't, I'm not a person who is black. I'm doing it now because I'm traveling, it's easier. I'm all about colors, you know? My house has a color, it, although I like to keep it neutral, but I'll throw in some colors. Light 
just giving me life lighting my space i love natural light i can't be locked up and closed curtains and there's no proper lighting i just go down i don't need to have problems in my life to be stressed just that environment guys sends me straight down we, we did that home so now i'm looking at this lobby i'm looking at this hotel it is the complete opposite of what will heal me for the few days that i'm waiting to to, to fly out of the country I'm like how did i miss this i read the reviews i looked at the pictures this is not what i booked as i approach the receptionist or oh, she tells me no ma'am you are at the wrong hotel we've got more than one you need to be in Cebu but I landed in Cebu where am I land? but guys I've never been so relieved <gasps> I said hallelujah God at least I'm not gonna be here not around this environment okay but I've paid this grab to come to the wrong place accommodation or hotel now I have to grab again to go to the right one. So I'm asking the lady, can you just make sure you put the right address so that I go to the right one? As she does it, guys, I realize good Haibo, it's costing me like uh, around 400 Philippine pesos. This means the place is far. Cause that's a lot i had paid over 100 to come here and it was close by to the airport like yo it means i'm going far but i'm just relieved i will be staying here and seeing what's outside again and just getting worse and worse so the receptionist guys i have no idea what she did i think she inserted the current destination instead of the hotel where I'm, I'm supposed to go to and oh boy oh boy didn't we have a you know it was a struggle the grab driver struggles to change the destination you already accepted the the trip and oh that time at half past 11 almost 12 midnight I've sat at the airport for hours. I'm not well. I just want to get to my destination. And now I'm starting to, to lose it, you know. And I'm becoming the person I'm not normally. And I'm like, can can you guys just get me to where I need to? Even if I pay a fortune for it, I just need to get to my hotel. I'm not well. I've been traveling all these hours and I was supposed to be here hours ago can someone just intervene because I can't this we can't change my trip because the driver is oh guys Philippines Philippines hey you're right you're right to show guys you're right and then the receptionist says to me oh ma'am we don't mind taking you there with our shuttle and i'm thinking but that's it's something she was supposed to say in the first place when she realized i was in a wrong hotel she was supposed to say ma'am we've got a shuttle between these hotels can we cost you and take you there would you prefer that instead of me now having to grab again and then she puts the wrong address and then i'm stuck for like 20 minutes or so now i'm throwing the toys out of the courts behaving like a spoiled bread because I just couldn't. I couldn't, guys. And I'm not that person, you know. I understand the situation. I've always been matured from young. I handle things professionally. And of course, I do stand up for what I believe in. And I'm very vocal, guys, very vocal. It scares a lot of people. But I do it with respect, you know. I won't just lose it. No, I'm, I'm in touch with my emotions. I'm so an emotional being. But for me to just get excited, uh, yeah. Up to here, and then I lose it. 
So, I don't know what happened. I'm told, ma'am, you can go back in the car. The driver is now okay. I'm asking, does this man know where he needs to take me? Is it the correct address? Because he seemed to me like a new driver who didn't know. Who, who, I don't know. He was just as confused, uh, asking me, aren't you supposed to be here? Yeah. So they promised me, no, we've explained. It's, it's clear. It's clear. You can go now. And I guess they were just also getting rid of me because they were tired of this drama queen. So got in the car, guys, like our Uber drivers. Now this guy wants to cheat, cheat, cheat. Yes, sir. I, I just said, I'm forward. Can you just take me to my hotel? I am not in a stable situation to have small talks and i don't mean it badly i'm not well i've been traveling i'm drained by everything including what we just went through me and you now i don't think he understand a quarter of what i said but yeah the facial expression must have said it all and he decided that let me take this one where she needs to be. And guys, it was a long drive. And I just thought of the amount and I said, if I start now smiling and pretending, it's going to be the longest journey of my life. I might not even reach the destination. So let me not be false and lie to this guy. I'm not okay. I made it clear. He still wants to ask me, then how did you get to, to the destination? What happened? Uh, so now uh, how long are you going to be here because they want to give you their card so that they can drive you around the next day it's just their culture and business ethic yeah, once they got you they want to chit chat and then they can come around and disturb your peace <laughs> I don't know I don't mean it to act but I stopped it and guys it was a long journey it was okay apparently guys welcome back thanks for subscribing please do like continue to share those who subscribe thank you so much if you haven't please do why not we sit here we chat we catch up about my travels why are you like so I just want to make sure this thing is recording hi Bo it just God gave me a message to say maximum recording it means I've been going on and on about Philippines Okay, I'm wrapping up guys. Uh, this will be part two of um, I got sick in Philippines and I had to leave much earlier. So yeah, long drive to, to my hotel and guys guess what? This is the last small this is gonna be the shortest video, which I'm not happy about because I could have got half half on point. But uh, when I got to my hotel, the correct golden berry now in Cebu, where the one that I booked for carpets and, and healing, it was exactly that. Oh, guys, it was so neat, so beautiful, so peaceful, so clean, pristine. The service, you know, they opened the door. They just welcomed me and, and they understood which it was midnight. There's no time to still ask me where am I from? You know, I'm from South Africa. For heaven's sake, I'm joking. I don't mind that question. I always promote my country. I love my country. It's such a beautiful country. Encourage people to come visit. But to tell some of them they must come and host them, of which I'll do. It's a pity people tell you they don't have money to travel. So they just, I just got there. The check-in was seamless. Uh, got, um, no, I don't think I got a welcome drink. No, even if they have, I think it was way too late. And big ups to all hotels that have 24-hour check-in. Ooh, ooh, you are a breath of fresh air because I don't know what we will do as our uh, late night riders. 
a full health head, a cut of time. And I tend to, to rock up midnight in these hotels <laughs> because the tickets are cheap. And yeah, I don't encourage people to do that because you don't even know where you're going. Now you're asking people in the middle of the night where to find this hotel. And guys, I don't even have uh, the Google map to figure out. I'm asking. I don't know what I'm doing to myself, but I'm just challenging my mind and yeah it's just strengthening that muscle yeah, my brain muscle to be much stronger very very hectic not for just anybody what i'm doing you can get sick it's very stressful so yes so i got the beautiful and guys when i went uh, to the seventh floor i think or six floor can be called uh where my room was at oh as i opened the door i'm like hallelujah i'm not gonna die in philippines i'm gonna get healed and yeah take the plane out and go to bangkok for for a day or two before i go back to bali so yes that was it and the hotel was exactly what i needed it wasn't a Oh, guys, I thought I'll also add that um, Philippines for me, you can visit that country obviously for whatever reasons you have, maybe you've always wanted to go, but also it's for those people, you know, in life we end up getting so used to our daily routines, we end up being killed by same old same old you wake up you eat you go to work come back watch tv whatever to a point that you lose yourself in a way like you now numb to your daily life so philippines or the philippines will really revive your soul and when you've gotten to a point where you feel unworthy where you always feel down where you feel like god has forgotten that you are one of his children and he's turned his back he's neglected you go to philippines it will actually make you realize how blessed you are it will make you count your blessings one by one you would realize that Yes, of course, you are going through hardships. A lot is happening in your life, but it's absolutely nothing compared to what others are going through. So you can just go to that country to remind yourself, Ubuti, you are truly blessed. That you might not have everything that you would love to have, and maybe because you shouldn't, but you've got more than enough. You've got surpluses. You've got... Uh, enough enough to keep you going so yeah this piece i thought i'll add to you when you reach the stage in your life where you feel like oh no you know things are not going my way uh, am i the cursed one what if i done sorry guys just go visit the you'll come back a different soul you'll appreciate life you'll appreciate your breath you'll appreciate your surroundings you'll appreciate even a pin or safety pin in your house yes i promise okay i'm finishing off i need to go out i've been recording to the pool i'm spending a day slazing around before i travel out to bangkok to meet Ungungu there, you know, she's coming through, but it is closed and it's my birthday soon, so yeah, she's flying in on Friday. Today is Wednesday, so let me just wrap up. We'll see. It turned out to be exactly what I needed, it became my remedy, and I was there for like two, three nights. And I must say, I felt better. Uh, they respected me when I said, um, just give me bottled water and don't touch my room. And it was so quiet. It was so peaceful. It was so amazing. 
and after day three or night three i flew out of cebu to go back to bangkok and then i landed in bangkok i couldn't believe us and i was still recovering i remember how and i think i made a bit mistake by supporting this lady and i ate something that also seemed to be a bit poisonous to my system which was already weak and i just found myself having to drink water and drink water because had white stuff that showed uh, some poison within my system. I know it sounds exaggerated, but guys, I was just not myself. You know, there's a video or a live that I did. I could even see my eyes were so white, pale. Would see, no, 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 no. I was really, really sick. In, in Philippines and I'm glad I went came back alive and now I'm up and running and carrying on with the travel so this it's amazing to travel it's amazing to live your dream but always be ready for challenges that you'll come across and very importantly always have your travel insurance intact I'll speak about it separately and give tips and yeah discuss further but I'm okay now and yeah, I'm in Bali for the second time and I'm flying out tomorrow to go to Thailand, one of my faves, and go to other neighboring countries showing around and I hope you will enjoy this trip. We wanted to go back to Mexico, our favorite country, but yeah, Mexico is one country I'll sit and talk about, which is why we ended up not going and decided let's rather stay in Asia, but we're going to have lots of fun. And thank you guys for listening. Thank you for being here. I will definitely make sure we say I link both the videos so that there's, it's only one video since I'm giving this maximum space. It means my phone is now taking a knock. I need to clear or else we'll have a problem of not having a space for our videos. Gosh, then what? We still have a long journey waiting for us. Continue to subscribe, continue to like, continue to comment, continue to share. And those who've done it, you are loved. Stay blessed.